A kind day to you all! I'm Kinsmark, and I currently feel like hell, because I just came off a few days of coming under the weather, so that is the cause if I come across as at all low energy for this first 15 of Red Crucible Reloaded. A competitive free-to-play FPS that just came out on Steam, and one may recall, I covered the first incarnation of Red Crucible a considerable amount of time ago here on the channel, and I can't say I cared for it all that much at the time, because there just wasn't all that much there, so... Call me curious to see the changes that this reloaded version has implemented. I actually haven't checked out any of this ahead of time, so I'll click into the character menu. Uh, can I actually see my character? Because this looks more like a store page. Because I'm actually in a store tab, so apparently this menu is already misleading. Alright, that's a charming sign. Um... Are these things I already own? I assume they aren't, because this is the promotional menu. And also, kind of me intrigued at these strange prototypes I'm already seeing in here. Uh-huh. Alright, that's an automatic shotgun. That was like a crazy anti-air man portable thing. Alright, so... Anti-material rifles. Cool. Can I see what I have? Inventory. There- Oh. Alright, then. I can't tell where to start because those animations are so lifelike aren't they and the textures mmm I just I, I, I can't even zoom in on them because they're so detailed my eyes can only handle such fine care at a time oof man I checked the copyright on that main menu right that, that said copyright like sometime in the last few years correct because this looks Ancient. Oh, man. Alright. <laughs> He's just inspecting the edge. Alright, fine. Uh, vehicles, because apparently those are in this. Alright. Uh, can I see mine? Apparently I cannot. Alright. Uh, yeah. So, there's that. I'm American. Correct. Uh, sure. Alright, so clearly there there ain't anything for me here. Alright, so there's a, a fair handful of loadout slots, so at least there's that. This looks like a mobile game menu. Can I leave this? There we are. Alright. Uh, yeah. All right. Oh, hey. Alright, apparently there are some skins. Oh, because there are characters in here. Alright, so... I can go full low poly operator. I checked my settings. This is on ultra, right? Yeah. Consider that just illustration enough for the level of quality you're getting here. Also, I'll check through these because I know there are some folks that are curious to see these settings available for a game like this. Um, I am actually at least somewhat pleased to see that things like sensitivity sliders and uh, toggles and things like that are available. Apparently just the couple of sound sliders, though. One can also remap keys, and that's about it. So, yeah, I'll just save that, and can I click home. There we are. All right. Um, I think I should check out a little more of this and then jump into a match. So, can I actually link with, say, friends on Steam? Perhaps. I cannot. Because I'd actually have to add people one at a time through their gamer IDs in this game. Did I create an account for this? Because I don't think I did. Hold on, does this game have a name for me? Or is this somehow importing the character slash account I made for the first incarnation of Red Crucible? Hang on, profile. Yeah, alright, so it knows my name. I can't tell if that's one I input ages ago or if it's checking against my Steam username. Apparently the gamer ID is there though, so I can only assume that I have input this and I just can't remember it, because otherwise if it's capable of reading through Steam that way, why couldn't I just import Steam friends? Can't it just automatically find them? So... I'll check around, and if I find anything, I'll clarify that in the captions. I, I think this is already speaking enough for itself, though, such that I should just jump straight into combat, because I could already use some catharsis. Uh, training... I think I can handle this game, because I... Color me skeptical here, 
I will correct myself if I am cynically mistaken. I, uh, I hesitate to assume that this is about to offer anything innovative, so uh, I think I can just pick up and play. Uh, quick match, yes. All right. A change in soundtrack is in order. Apparently, Red Dawn, free for all. <laughs> uh, is it the uh, the original or the crappy Cribs Hemsworth version? Because I love Chris Hemsworth. He's a great guy and all. He shouldn't have signed that contract because, man, John Milius is turning over in his grave. Anyway, uh, yeah, every man for himself. Player with the most kills wins the match. Simple. Join. Oh, okay. Are y'all seeing that? That, like, really fine, repetitive pattern across my entire... Are y'all seeing that? And that isn't a visor effect, because I'm seeing it here as well, and in a spectator camera, I am no longer looking through a helmet visor. What? What is even doing that? Can I spawn, please? Ah, I have to click. All right. Uh, that is unpleasant it's so distracting that is like headache inducing all right i can't strafe diagonally if i'm sprinting this makes counter-strike look advanced graphically oh i oh oh are you okay you are not a friend all right you are also no longer alive can i do anything with this i cannot all right wow the stock i think that actually is a counter-strike sound effect Oh, man. Guys. This is not okay. Like, come on. Even for a free-to-play game. Oh. And they are asking money for microtransactions for this game. Alright. I mean, fair play to them. The market shall decide. I shall just advise against that practice. Because, man, this, this is just, just isn't a modern game. It, whoa. Complete with apparently ancient level hit detection, because that guy straight up shot me through a wall after, I assume on his end, he already shot me as he had a clear shot at me, and I just couldn't see him at the time, because the latency is so severe here. Oh my. I'd call this one of the few avoid at all cost games I've ever covered. Because this feels almost sketchy in its corner cutting. Am I actually to just accept that this is a reloaded version of anything? Oh, man. Can I pick up gun? No, of course I can't. Because that's, that's a feature that uh, apparently came about farther along in game development than this game split from the timeline. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a uh, clarification of the lore here. This is a divergent meta lore game insofar as it refuses to acknowledge any advancements made in games in the last 15 years and therefore things like picking up guns that no because even like golden i had that no i can't even commit to that joke so like you see what you're doing here you're tying my feet you're hobbling me for even comedy at your expense game because this mm, mm, mm. i'll clarify that this is made on unity engine and oh, i'd certainly say it looks at yeesh because there aren't even any shadows this is on ultra like, I, I am mid-match here. I didn't just cut that for effect to try and smear this game. You're looking at it right now. This is on Ultra. Why do you have graphic sliders or settings or presets? Because let me tell you, in any other game, this is toaster tier. Why do you have settings? Do you know? Did they just come with the engine and you just decided to roll with it? Do they do anything? You know what? I'm curious now. I have to know. D what does it do if I set this to low? Does anything change? It actually looks sharper. Strangely. This is easier on the eyes. 
Because it removed that weird film! Hold on, what setting was that? Hi. Ah, ah, recoil. Ah, recoil. There we go. Alright, so, hold on, hold on. I, I am curious as all morbidity could ever hold a sway on my soul. Let's see. Is it... I, I can't tell. I cannot tell. Because, there. I mean, there just aren't that many things to toggle. Is it any of these? I couldn't care less if I die at this point. Um... Uh, uh, joint, yeah. Alright, it ain't any of those. So, it happens somewhere in the texture quality? Maybe? Apply? Save? No, because it still isn't there. The hell? What did that? Because y'all saw that, right? Let's just follow the full preset. Yeah, ultra. There we go. Save. And return. And now it's gone. What a mysterious game. The world may never understand the intricacies at play in this arcane... Uh, uh... I don't know. I, I lost my train of thought there. I had a joke rolling and, uh... Oh, earned a new achievement. Welcome to Red Crucible. Mmm, welcome indeed. Oh, hey, could, uh, could someone cease the injection of lead into mine kidneys? I'd appreciate that. Because, uh, that just isn't a sensation I call it all pleasant. I mean, to each their own and all. Just, uh, you know, you're violating my non-aggression principle. How dare you? Can I actually get in the plane? I can. The plane, the plane! With these gigantic seats! I flew a few months ago! And, uh, let me tell you, I'd have killed for this kind of leg room. Alright. I hear an awful lot of fire and can't find an awful lot of shooters. Any other occasion, that's probably cause for celebration. In this game. Ooh, hey, they're on the roof. Ha! Popped ya. Alright, I'm sure that guy's about to rage. Ooh, ooh, nice shot in return there, sir. Um, can I. Can I leave this? Oh, apparently there are only, uh. 39 seconds remaining, so... Alright, I think I can ride out the last minute of... I was about to say minute and a half. That, uh... Less than a minute there, because I can crunch numbers. Half minute is what I was going for. Couldn't articulate it, because again, just came off of, uh... About a week spent six, so apologies if I come across like an idiot. Mmm, the spread on that rifle. That is atrocious. There you go. Alright. Well, let's just have a nice little charge here for the last 10 seconds. Hup. There we go. One kill to finish out the match. And, uh, that's it. Yeah. We'll get so, next time. will we get them next time? At least I have a positive KDR. So, there's that. Uh, no, 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 no. Leave. 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 Leave now. Okay, uh, let's see here. Missions. Alright, so these, I assume... I was about to assume they were dailies. What even are these? Select a mission to view details. Alright, I can't do that. Because it says it's unavailable. Why is it unavailable? What makes that unavailable? Requires completion of rookie. Okay, so I assume I have to get some promotions then first. Alright, calling supports. Alright, so that gets me a gun. Alright, so that's how one can acquire some. That get MP5. One can't configure an MP5 into a sniper platform. That, that just isn't a thing, game. M16, yeah, okay, so uh, missions reward one with XP, honors, I assume that's this silver metal looking currency, and guns. Alright, simple enough. So. Let's see then about how many people are playing this. Aren't that many! Can't uh, say as a fault anyone for avoiding this, although I am curious morbidly about one other feature aside from the shop which I'll save for last, and that is the vehicle. So I'll cut into a match and I think for this I'll just send y'all a highlight reel and then check out the shop, because I don't feel like I should give this any uh, more attention than it deserves. So, this is Island X Team Deathmatch. I clicked on this because I saw a plane, and so I assume there are vehicles here. 
there are! Let's see. Uh, e to enter. Oh my. What is that? What? Can I actually hurt that guy? No, I think he's on my side. Alright. Um, credit where it's due, this at least feels like a much more ambitious game than that first match I played, because I assume... Can I actually access a map? I cannot, I don't think. I can't. Alright, I can't tell how large this area is. This at least feels like an antiquated battlefield game. And I'll cut it one other piece of credit, because I do like to stay as objective as I can. Am I, like, launching a flamethrower or something? I can't even tell. Anyway, this is running incredibly smoothly. I mean, it ought to, because, man, if a computer as strong as mine couldn't handle this game, then its optimization is as terrible as anything ever could. So the fact that this is at least running smoothly is a sign of competence, I hesitate to say. I hesitant? Hmm. Hesitate, even. Because someone in this room has an English degree, and uh, doing a real horrible job of demonstrating that it me can I? Am I avoiding these? No, I am not avoiding these trees for any reason, because I can just drive straight through them. <laughs> what the hell was that? I think that was a jet flying overhead. I don't know. Oh, hi! Hi! Out uh, for an afternoon drive, are you? Having a jolly old time? Uh-oh. 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 There we go. Just... There we go. Shell him! <coughs> oh! Uh, alright. I hit the scroll wheel, and suddenly I am playing an isometric tank game. The hell is this? Um, apologies for my eye-watering. I cut a coughing fit, for the sake of you all. Uh, how are you? You are not my friend. Someone else is also not my friend. Oh, the man on the machine gun. Mounted guns. Apparently dangerous to tanks now. Alright, that's cool. And because I know someone's going to correct me. I was in an APC, an armored vehicle. They aren't necessarily tanks. I know. Just... Uh, cut me some slack out. All right. Anti-air cannon to the chest cavity. That'll ruin my day. No. Oh, hi. There you are. Just camp and spawn. Because apparently spawn protection is a strong feature of this game. Can I fly the plane? I cannot. Ah. Chopper. That gives me an idea. Hey. How's it going there, man? Cool chopper fight. Enjoying? It's a fancy rifle you got there. It's uh, like some kind of Russian gear. Uh-huh. Vehicle selection. Can I have one? Attack helicopters aren't any to display. Transport helicopters aren't any to display. All right, close that then. Um, can we... Oh. <gasps> Attack helicopter. Hey. Enter. <laughs> How do I fly this? Th oh, God. Uh, oh, God. Uh, All right. Apparently, uh, space is to climb. And whoop, okay, all right, uh, ooh, ooh, all right, this ain't going so well, this ain't going so well, uh-oh, 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 uh, are my, how many missiles do I have, uh-oh, whoa, all right, scrolling out has changed the camera, this thing maneuvers like a drunken whale, oh man, I have to crank the mouse around my mouse pad to maneuver with this thing, ooh, I don't, I don't like that. Okay, so, can I lock with this somehow? Ooh, I can zoom with a right click. Alright. Come on. Kill the cobra! I ain't convinced that's a super cobra. Oh, can I unzoom? Can I unzoom? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, can numbers do anything? I am taking an awful lot of heat here. And the heat has coalesced into an explosion. As concentrated heat so often does. I think that's about as much of this as I can take. So let's check the shop, shall we? I think I shall. So coins are clearly a paid currency, and man, they cost a pretty penny, because I can actually compare it straight right here to uh, collect the US Navy SEAL Operator Skin. You need 250 coins, and that costs straight out about $5. That is an awful lot for one skin. Uh, yeah. Alright, so, conversion and... A, what, what, is that... Hold on, what? Oh, so, spend $10 and you get a free little Keter 91. Alright. Anyway. 
Uh, how about the costs for weapons? Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what- What have you done to these things? I mean, credit where it's due, these are at least unique, because I haven't seen this in a thousand other games ahead of it, so... There's that, it's just so strange and nonsensical. Because, I mean, this thing? In a competitive modern FPS? Are you for real? I mean, honestly, I'd use it, so <laughs> you're doing something, right? Because I would use it ironically. I'd still use it, though. Again, credit, strange though it is, that I have to get one. You can't mount a holosite to that thing. I'll, I'll let that slide, though. Um, a lot of these are guns that I have either never seen, and that says a lot coming from me, because I'm currently researching an awful lot of modern firearms to compile into a tabletop project that I'll release at some point in the future. Uh, compatible with D20 for anyone interested. And many of these are ones that I've seen and yet can't say I've ever come across in another game. So, I mean, what? Is that a corner shot? That strange Israeli project that went nowhere because it's impractical as all hell? I mean, that isn't what it's called. That That is what it is, though. That's weird because here's how that thing works that is just a normal glock this thing is a hinged platform with a camera attached so that you can like click it weirdly and the gun mounted to the front of it will click around a corner and you can see down its sights and engage without leaving cover clever although somehow call me skeptical that this game engages any of that functionality it's just there to look strange uh yeah so anyway as much as oh great Double D's. I, oh. The one is canted at an angle because that's how you'd grip it, isn't it? Of course. Right. <sighs> I. <laughs> is that a pink Krinkov? Why is there a pink Krinkov? All right, all right. That that thing at least looks somewhat classy. All right, man. They just keep a coming, don't they? All. Right then, uh, let's check once more here just to see what would most of these cost because the fair majority of these are about a thousand gold apiece and that would cost one upwards of $15. I mean, you would actually need to purchase either a couple of these, which is, yeah, I mean, like either way you're spending 20 to $30 to get one gun. One! That is completely unacceptable. That isn't even ceiling levels of acceptable. That is stupidly expensive. And I cannot support that price point whatsoever. Uh, mm, pardon me. Are there any, like, vehicles? Oh, one can actually purchase vehicles. Are these skins or are these actually pilotable things that are maybe replete with their own stats? Yeah, the stats are changing as I click from one to another. Yeah. Because these are all in the attack heli category. So these actually do have statistical differences. I cannot compare these against anything in the standard game to say whether or not they are premium strength. Call me concerned, though. Man, that texture is either taken forever and a day to pop in, or it's so fuzzy that you really shouldn't have even started trying to include text on it. Because I can only just make out that that says United States Army. That is shamefully low res. Uh, yeah. Alright, um, how's about any of these other- oh, that's weapons. Oh, my god. There really are a lot of choices in the arsenal for this game. Strange ones, too, like the Corvin. This, it, like, man. I wish I could praise this crazy eclectic arsenal more. I just can't, because it's priced so stupidly. Uh, oh well. Say lovey. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's, I think that's about enough of that. Aside from checking, come to think of it, however, how many matches one might need to play to collect any of these using the currency earned in-game. So, the catcher here from the promotion screen is 80,000 currency medals, I forget what they call it, I think it's honors, and uh, I didn't pay all that much attention to how much I earned from my first match, assuming it's even half of this, that's 
an awful lot of matches. That is as grindy as any game I could ever tolerate is and more. So how about some of the standard ones? Okay, this one is much more reasonable. For instance, these, oh, never mind. I mistook the thousand gold for the hundred thousand medals. Mm. So that one's on a discount. I thought that was expensive because it's shiny and new. Apparently I was mistaken. How about secondaries? Can I just check on the- oh, alright, that is- wait a minute, hold up. That's one of those crazy- cool name for it, the recipe. Uh, I forget what they called it. Did it need the hammer and sickle, though? Uh, man. It's a 12.7 millimeter revolver that Spetsnaz concocted for lock demolitions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh yes, the good old single shot grenade launcher that saw so much use in the classic entry Dino Crisis. Yeah, I, I have strange associations with certain things in games. Anyway, uh, I, yeah, I, I think this has spoken volumes for itself, and uh, I can't really add much more to this that isn't already plainly apparent. So. Check this out at your own peril. It is free to play on Steam, so if it is charming in any strange, morbid sort of way for you, uh, it's there for you should you feel so inclined. So I'm going to avoid it like the plague. I'm going to immediately uninstall it from my computer. You enjoy, though. So I hope you guys have enjoyed my assessments for my first few minutes with this game. And if you have enjoyed this episode, consider checking out our Patreon to help us keep the show alive. I'm Kinsmark here at Last Level Press, and as always, I wish you all good gaming and Godspeed.